This is KNEV.TV weather from the Arby's Weather Center. Arby's, we have the meats. Well, we don't have a lot to uh, worry about tonight. Pretty boring on the weather front. Sunshine uh, and clear skies as we go through the evening. This 78, that's pretty close to our normal high this time of year, and that's tonight at 7 o'clock. We'll drop into the upper 50s, well above normal tonight for lows. It's going to be comfortable, though. Uh, can't argue with that. Not a lot of wind tonight, not as hot tomorrow. Just isolated storms are around. The cooler weather is going to hold off. It will be here this weekend. 93 yesterday, missed our record by just 5 degrees. Speaking of records, look at this record low, 26. Brrr, we were at 48 yesterday. By the way, that 98, that was set last year. So uh, September 15th, a couple years in a row has uh, been pretty warm out there. Nothing in the rain gauge yesterday. Still running about a third of an inch above normal for the month and about four and a half above normal for September. 80s in northeastern Colorado, upper 80s to near 90 all across the Cornhusker State. If you want some cooler air, you got to look out here at Laramie and the high country there in the mid 70s. 90 in Ogallala and in Oshkosh, also up in Shadron right now. 81 in Cheyenne, one of the cooler readings, mid and upper 80s for all of us. Winds have been pretty stout here in the Sand Hills and down into south central Nebraska in the uh, 10 to 20 mile an hour range, 5 to 10 mile an hour range for us, primarily in that southerly direction. Uh, give or take a little bit. We put thunderstorm coverage back on the map, took it out on Friday because we didn't have any chances of storms, but we don't worry about today necessarily so much, but we're paying attention to tomorrow in a marginal risk of severe storms from uh, mainly the Cheyenne area up through, say, Bridgeport to near Mullen and points to the north. So the northern half roughly of our area is where we're worried we may see a marginal severe thunderstorm, marginal risk anyway. That's the lowest risk. We just expect isolated storms at best. Tomorrow, then, we push that well off to the east and uh, no thunderstorm activity really uh, to be noteworthy on Wednesday. It's going to be, I think, a drier day around here. Just a few clouds tonight as they stay confined primarily to the high country. A few will slip out into the plains towards sunrise. Lows tonight are going to be very mild for this time of year. Mid-50s for most of us. Look at Valentine, 68, 65 in Mullen, 64 tonight in Ogallala. That's well above normal. We'd ordinarily be in the 40s for this time of year. Tomorrow... Clear skies to partly cloudy skies through the day. Notice by mid-afternoon, here come a couple of isolated hit or miss thunderstorms across the region. Again, can't rule out that one or two of them could become strong to severe. Hail and uh, wind would be the primary threats. And again, we don't expect anything widespread. Most of us will stay dry. Highs tomorrow, a little cooler, 78 in Cheyenne. Still back to near 90 in Ogallala, 92 in Valentine, upper 80s for most of us. And if you don't get under one of those thunderstorms, we're not going to see any rainfall. If you do get under them, you could pick up a few hundreds, maybe uh, a little more than that if you get under one of the heavier downbursts. But really, thunderstorm chances are, are pretty small. 55 tonight, mostly clear. It's going to be comfortable out there. Tomorrow, again, we can't rule out a stray afternoon thunderstorm. We put up chances at just 20%. Didn't even put the thunderstorm icon on the map because they're going to be very isolated. But heads up, we could see one or two warm again. Highs in the upper 80s will cool off just a bit Wednesday. 83. Then Thursday, we're back uh, into the upper 80s. Friday, near 80 or so. Then the weekend, finally cooler in the mid 70s. And then uh, for Monday, by the way, the first day of fall officially, 80 degrees out there with uh, pretty decent weather conditions. And we'll call it partly to mostly sunny skies.